here it is. This is the Harley Benton vintage cherry double cutaway uh, version of a Gibson SG. Um, this guitar is, I'm going to tell you right now, really phenomenal. Not just because of the price, which is ridiculous, but just because of the craftsmanship in this thing. It has a, a semi-transparent finish on it. You can see the wood grain um, through the finish. It's high gloss. I've inspected this over and over and over. I can't find one flaw in this finish at all. Not a nick, not a dent that's been covered up or filled. It's quite phenomenal. Um, it's basswood. It has, the description says that the, that the, uh, that the fingerboard is a baked on maple. So obviously it's been dyed, um, stained, and then some type of a finish baked on. It looks odd right now, so I don't know if it just needs some playing time and some oil, um, but that's easy enough. Uh, playability out of the box was ridiculous. This thing was still almost tuned. I mean, it was crazy. Uh, it has um, the Grover style tuners, chrome, uh, tunematic style bridge, um, humbuckers, uh, the, all the hardware. The pots sound feel really nice and smooth. The switch, really solid. Um, it's got a bone nut on it. It's uh, delivered to my door here in the Pacific Northwest in Oregon. This guitar was $148. Delivered to my door. It came in eight days. Um, even if you swapped out the pickups and put some Pro Buckers or you know, some P90s or something in there, you'd still have a phenomenal guitar for the price. It's, it's just crazy how they can do this. You would not be sad if somebody gave this to you for Christmas or your birthday or just because they love you. So out of the box, um, it was packaged well. It was in your typical, you know, triangle-shaped guitar box, uh, wrapped really well, padded well. Inside another big box, it had bubble wrap, so um, it came really easy to unpack. There wasn't too much packing material in, but there was enough for you to feel like, uh, you know, they'd taken care of it when they shipped it. Uh, all the pickups, the the uh, pick guard, um, the access panel, and the and the center dots on the back of the tuners all had plastic on. Uh, so it was a little overkill. It looks like the the humbuckers had plastic all the way wrapped around them. So I don't know if you can see or not, but there's still a little bit of plastic that's wedged in there. I'm probably gonna have to remove these to get this plastic out of it because it won't pull all the way out um, but really well set up I mean this was playable out of the box it has uh, it has Toman Harley Benton tens on it 10 to 48s I think um, I'm a nine guy but these don't feel too bad uh, but there's not one buzzing fret on here I'm probably gonna polish all the frets they don't seem to be quite um, finished as well as I would like them to be but most guitar players that have been doing this for any amount of time I mean, even if you bought a $3,000 Stratocaster, you're going to take it out and do something to it. So I'm going to make a little, few little adjustments, but I want to play this essentially the way it is. Just swap the strings out and polish the frets a little bit. And just to see how this does over the next couple of months. The neck pickup is pretty warm, like you'd expect from, this, from a SG. Bridge pickup, uh, pretty snappy. Oh, <laughs> 
keep you posted on this. Um, thanks for watching the channel. Uh, sorry it's been a long time since I've updated, but I had sick kids for a couple weeks, then we had spring break for a couple weeks, and then I was traveling a little bit, so uh, hopefully in about three more weeks, maybe less, we'll have another video posted. I'm going to do a uh, review on the Michael Kelly 55 Ebony with Seymour Duncans at the bridge on the next video, unless something else comes up. Thanks for watching. This is Tony G from Tony G's Guitar Kitchen. Peace.